phrase romantic texting, the first thing I think of are all of the stories in the media about guys getting busted for cheating, or you think about sexting and teens getting in trouble for showing literally their bodies or talking trash back and forth. Mm -hmm. Our next guest says that there is a way to use sexting to keep the spark alive in a healthy adult relationship. His website actually says it perfectly. Uh, it's called texttheromanceback.com. Mm -hmm. uh, please welcome relationship coach. This is Michael Fiore. Michael Fiore, everybody. Hey. So, you're not talking about dirty messages or this junk you see in the, in the uh, you know, all over the media and stuff. There's a difference between sexting and texting. Yeah, what, what I, you know, those, those stories you hear in the media are all about, really about people uh, having an affair, people going outside their relationship. Right. What, I, what I teach is how to use you know, the same technology, text messages, as a way to bring that spark, bring that intimacy back into your relationship. Because yeah. like, you can be thousands of miles away, you can be on a business trip, and you can just reach into, your, reach into your pocket, get your phone, and let that person know that you're thinking about them. And it's this really private, wonderful little fantasy world for you and your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend. What, what I found really interesting mm -hmm. is that, you know, as we hear when you talk about just about any topic, men and women think about and receive text messages in a different way. They respond to texts in a different way. Yeah. What's the difference between a text that a female would respond to and one that would really help a, a, a male get excited about sure. texting back? Sure. So men are uh, we're very visual creatures, right? We tend to respond yeah. to what we see all the time, whereas women are much more about storytelling, about language, about fantasy and things like that. Mm -hmm. So for a woman, I might say, you know, you can text to your man, um, do you remember the smile on my face last night right before you left or something uh, like that, right? And he'd be like, oh, because it makes him think picture. of that right away. He pictures that right so away. So if you're a female texting a man, you try and draw a picture for yeah, them. Yeah, a lot, a lot of very visual language the entire what time. What about vice versa? Vice versa, you want to say something like, to a woman, and you would write, you could say, can you imagine how good it's going to feel to wrap my arms around you tonight? And it causes her to imagine. Feel yeah, exactly. That just worked See? on me, and he's not even mine. <laughs> well, the funny thing, Rachel, is a lot of guys, when they, when they hear me say that kind of thing, they say, oh, Michael, that's so cheesy, right? And I say, it's cheesy, but the entire audience went, oh. I so, got chills. Yeah. So Works on me, yeah. yeah. It's real, I always tell people to be unapologetically romantic in their texts. You know, yeah. being in love is largely a choice, and this way you can just like you know lay your heart out there. It really go for is it. love letters yeah. two point mm -hmm. Exactly, it really yeah. is. All right, so we decided to do a little experiment of of our own on this. Um, Kristen here in the front row. She's here with her boyfriend Johnny. Yeah. Welcome, him. <laughs> That he was coming here to talk about their relationship, um, <laughs> but that's not really now. Now you've probably figured out why you're really here, right, Johnny? You've also probably figured out what's been going on. Kristen, why don't you fill in the blanks? Well, what's actually, yeah, don't get mad, but I have been taking Michael's advice, and over the past day or so, I've been using some of his techniques and texting you with cute little things to test it out and spark things up. Were you a little bewildered why you started getting all of these? Messages? No, they were nice. I enjoyed them. I loved them. I, you know, <laughs> Michael, I thank you. You're very <laughs> We're going to check out some of the texts, and don't worry, Johnny, these are the ones that, you know, we tried to keep it clean. It's daytime. <laughs> Kristen, uh, we, we actually have a little uh, uh, graphic of this so everybody can follow along. Oh. Kristen writes, I can't... <laughs> Kristen's in the pink, Johnny's in the blue. I can't stop thinking about, about what? This weekend? You're what I was looking for my whole life! Exclamation point! Can you... So, of course, my job is to blow your mind under the cover. Johnny making promises to keep. Oh, yeah. Kristen, thinking about tomorrow. Johnny, that is so sweet and I'm crazy about you. It's very intense. <laughs> so, one surefire text. It is Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, yes. One surefire text everybody can make right mm -hmm. now if they want to. Okay, here's all you have to do. This is a, what I call an appreciation text. It's very simple. It works on men. It works on women. It works on really anyone you want to send it to. And all you say is, you have no idea how much I love and appreciate having you in my life, but I'm going to show you tonight, dot, 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 smiley face. <laughs> 
I have a smile on my face. It's very important. It's important. You gotta have a smile on your face. It goes there. I gotta tell you, we have to take a break so that everybody can do their homework. I want everybody texting over this break. Uh, up next, how would you like to have a partner who's faithful for life and greets you always with a kiss? That's what Jared has brought with him today in the animal kingdom. Um, most romantic animals in the whole world up next.